if you were to zoom into the coronavirus, you would see it has a series of these evil looking spikes. It uses those spikes to attack your cells, to break them open and inject its malicious genetic payload. The antibodies that we've engineered bind to and block those spikes so that they no longer are able to infect your cells. That basically blunts the virus so it's no longer infectious and, and can protect you. It takes too long for a vaccine to be useful for a patient. If you're already sick, you don't have four weeks to generate antibodies. So with an antibody therapy, you're skipping that whole process of waiting for your body to produce the antibodies. We're engineering it in a tube. So now the syringe has the antibodies directly. I inject it into you and you instantly sort of have went through a four week time machine. Like a, instead of a vaccine, you're immediately being protected with those antibodies. Distributed Bio has already sent its antibodies to two independent labs to be tested on hamsters. They're awaiting those results. If all goes well, human trials could be a short time away. Glanville has a goal of manufacturing in September, but he admits that could be tight. But he says these are times when you aim for tight goals and push like hell to see what works. The other two problems are that it also needs to not be super expensive because the whole world needs to be able to use it. The whole world is infected and you can't just treat one area of the world. So if only one nation has access to medicine, the world will keep reinfecting that nation and itself. So everyone needs to have access, needs to be globally available. And that part of that is it needs to be pretty affordable. 